Assalamu alaikum guys. Today in this video lecture, I will discuss a simple question related with foundation. As you know, foundation is the lower part of building, which is also called substructure. So guys, do you know how to decide depth of foundation? What should be the minimum depth of foundation? Many civil engineering students, they are asking, sir, what should be the minimum depth of foundation? And especially non-civil engineering people during building construction, because foundation is the first step of building construction. So how to decide what should be the minimum depth of foundation? So today I will clear your concept. If I tell you that keep one meter or 1.5 meter or two meter, so that is called thumb rule or blind method. But today in this video, I will discuss the minimum depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula. Okay. And this formula is very important to find minimum depth of foundation. Right. So let's start guys. If this video is helpful for you, so don't forget to like this video. So guys, first of all, what is Rankine's formula? Okay. As you can see, guys, this is Rankine's formula. Df is equal P by Y into 1 minus sine theta divided by 1 plus sine theta. This is the simple formula by which you can find the minimum depth of foundation. Okay, minimum depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula. So guys, where Df, this one, which is minimum depth of foundation in meter. So guys, you can see here in this diagram, this is the depth of foundation. So here, guys, this, this is ground level. And here, this is soil, you can see. Okay, so how to decide the depth of foundation, the suitable depth of foundation. So with the help of Rankine's formula, we will find the depth of foundation. You can see, guys, this is footing. Okay, and this is PCC. So from here to here to the ground level, we will find the depth of foundation with the help of Rankine's formula. So guys, DF means minimum depth of foundation, this one. This is DF. Now what is P? This P is bearing capacity of soil in kilonewton per meter square. This is the bearing capacity of soil in kilonewton per meter square right so what should be the bearing capacity of soil and how you will know that what is the bearing capacity of soil so i will also guide you about this okay now we have this y which is guys this one this is density of soil or unit weight of soil in kilonewton per meter cube remember this point Okay, this is the density or unit weight of soil in which you are making digging or excavation for foundation. And what is this theta angle? So this is the angle of repose soil. Okay, now I will guide you. First of all, this is the depth of foundation. Now guys, what is the bearing capacity? Okay, so with this formula, you can find the minimum depth of foundation. So guys, I have here uh, different bearing capacity for different types of soil. So I will also write that what should be the depth of uh, what should be the bearing capacity of soil for different types. Okay, different types of soil, different bearing capacity. So you can uh, use the given bearing capacity for different types of soil. Okay, so first of all, you will find what type of soil do you have in which you are making excavation. Okay, okay. So as I told you, kilonewton per meter square. So soil type and capacity n kilonewton okay kilonewton per meter square so guys for loose gravel if you have loose gravel so that's capacity is loose gravel soil or gravel okay that is 98 kilonewton per meter square okay for fine sand fine sand are loose and dry sand that is also 98 for moist clay that is 147 kilonewton 
right and for medium for medium clay that is 245 kN newton right and for fine sand and silt type of soil that is also 245 kN newton and for soft rock for soft rock we have 441 kN newton right and also for gravel sand also 441 kN newton for coarse coarse sand and compacted for four coarse uh, for coarse sand and for compacted soil also 441 kN newton okay so you can calculate from this okay you will put the value uh, so first of all uh, decide that uh, which soil do you have in which you are making building construction okay so you will decide easily from here that you have the coarse sand or gravel sand or soft truck okay it's depend on your location it's depend on your uh, city or village okay so the other one is hard clay which is 451 and for uh, also for broken bedrock which is 883 and for sandstone or limestone bearing capacity is 1618 kN per meter square and hard rock are granite okay which is 32 36 kN per meter square okay so guys this is very important this is the uh, soil bearing capacity right now guys uh, we have the density of soil so the density of soil also we have for different types of soil okay so uh, you can also find uh, manually that what is the density of soil you can calculate easily okay but now what is angle of repose angle of repose is very important so guys you can see suppose this is the ground level okay and this is soil this is side so here guys here it can make an angle so this angle is called angle of repose this is called angle of repose so for different types of soil we have different angle angle of repose for different types of soil so we have mud we have moisture uh, moist soil we have sandy soil we have uh, also uh, uh, rock soil okay etc wet soil dry clay okay so what should be the angle so first of all i will remove okay so let me erase this okay so here angle of repose so here guys you can see this is soil type of soil and angle of repose okay so guys for mud simple mud which don't have any angle mud it cannot make an angle okay so for wet clay which angle is 15 angle of repose is 15 okay so if you have wet earth okay which is 15 to 17 angle angle of repose and dry earth that is 20 to 30 30 angle dry earth okay and consolidated dry earth also consolidated dry earth which is also 30 angle and dry sand which is 30 to 35 angle, angle of repose for dry clay which is guys 35 angle okay so this is angle of repose let me erase this 
Now we have the moist uh, and gravel, which is 40 angle. For damp clay, are rubble stone, which is also 45. Are for moisture earth, we have 45 to 50 angle or degree. So guys, this is the angle of repose for different types of soil in which you can put here 1 minus sine theta, the place of theta you will put this and also 1 plus sine theta, the place of uh, theta you will put the, the given uh, angle of repose which I have discussed the front of you, you have different types of soil so you can find easily which type of soil do you have, okay? And this is the types of soil and its bearing capacity. So uh, this is guys very simple to find depth of foundation but minimum depth of foundation. But I recommend you, I recommend you if you don't want to apply the given formula which I have discussed the front of you, Rankin's formula. So the minimum depth of foundation should not be less than one meter. Okay. So and the project or the structure will be safe when you keep the minimum depth of foundation one meter. So if that is a, a mega project, so you should find the uh, suitable depth of foundation with the help of different formula. So guys, if you have any question about this video, so you can comment. I will try to reply your answer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.